all right i want to welcome you to this uh, training video on the steps to use digibro reseller website effectively yeah uh, in this training video we are going to be going through some steps and i want you to please uh, uh be very attentive and clearly get how to make your reseller package very rewarding and very uh effective especially in running uh we are going to go through when your customer visits your front page that is your website uh we are going to check uh through uh customer making their choice or of course any choice of of theirs concerning the package you have placed on your website and of course uh, when that uh, choice is made what will happen then after filling the application and all of those what will also happen so we have some steps like that so we get to the point where you will be able to uh give your customer all that they need to run their radio station effectively so we are going to be using this website uh zaktavent.digibro.net uh, as a case study so please can you please uh, uh, follow me as we do that so um i open the website zaktavent.digibro.net okay uh, of course this is one of the one of our recent reseller uh, for digibro and very very powerful and i if you want to patronize them no problem yes uh, of course as a customer i come here and i see some of the packages there let me say i want newcomer growing cloud of course this reseller has a trial package so if i click any of this to learn more it will redirect me to um, the page, the pricing page. Of course, on the pricing page, you will see a trial there. Some of you, I know you have trial too. You have trial there. You have all of this. Of course, this co this uh, particular company, uh, this is their own way of uh, uh, making their, I mean, their package work for themselves. So there's no problem about that. So any of these that you want to use, uh <laughs> or any approach you want to adopt is okay so uh just like i said a customer has visited now just like i have done so customer making a choice so let me make a choice uh for for this training uh let me just uh, use the trial so i click subscribe when i click subscribe now take note it will redirect you to or it will redirect the customer to uh subscription page subscription page this subscription page is very important the importance is this by the time the customer fill in all of these details that uh, i have on this page okay uh you will receive the uh the email as a reseller that a particular customer has has applied for a particular package that you have put on your website then the customer too that have applied or that applied also we also receive um, the email uh giving uh the customer uh a particular uh rest of mind that uh, uh the 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 subscription is in progress so so that you can get it let me quickly fill this in you know this is a trial so i click it i click the trial there uh, account name has to do with what name do i want to give my account let's say i want to give it a uh, uh, demo radio demo radio okay then email let me use my email at this sh shola zion at yahoo.com okay I confirm it. Adishola Zion at yahoo.com. Okay, so uh, my phone number I supply it 080 Okay, then uh, the name of the contact person so it's supplied first name Adishola zion then the the second uh 
my surname. Okay, okay, it's all right. Oh. All right, then the radio station, the purpose, of course, let me select new radio station, the address I supplied, uh, number 36. Sorry, number 36. Adewumi. 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 Akure. Okay. Um, city. Okay. No. Zip. Three four zero two seven one. Then I select Nigeria. Okay. Then do you have a website? But I can select no. All right. So I click submit. Now if I click submit. Uh, two things will happen okay you can see it redirects me now to where i will need to uh pay of course if it is any other uh, plan maybe like that one that has new comma plan um growing plan and uh, big dude or something i can't remember exactly again but something like that yeah uh, of course it will redirect to where you can have to cut for you to pay and of course, if that customer wants more months, he or she can select. Anybody, any of the reseller that want discount for uh, selecting maybe more than one month, you can uh, approach the the uh, the technical for them to add such feature to for your customer. But as it is now, you know the trial is just is just free for seven days. Of course, that's that is uh, that is uh, how the reseller want it. So I click auto cuts. I click auto cuts as I'm, I'm doing as customer now. So I view my cards. Okay. Viewing the cards. Then I proceed to check out. If it is the one that has to do with payment, of course, uh, I will need to fill all of this. Okay. So I need to fill this for uh, the payment to be done. And they shall uh, Zion. Oh, sorry, uh, they shall uh, Zion Okay, um, country Nigeria, Nigeria. So let me just pick one for now. Okay, our streets number thirty six something something something. Um, this one is optional, so I can leave it. So turn three. Okay, phone zero eight zero twenty eighty eight sixty two eighty eight. And additional uh, Zion at Yahoo dot com. Okay, then all of those are filled. So you know it's it's trial. So it's you, know, you the customer is not paying anything. Just like I said, if it's any other plan, the customer will need to pay. So I click place order. Um, then. Let's see what happened. I click place order and the uh, order is being processed. Thank you. And you see, um, it has been done. Order number, you can see date I am doing it total is zero. So I'm not using my card because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a free, it's a free package. The other packages are also there. If it is the one that will use my card, it will ask me for my card detail as a customer and that will be done. Let's check if I have received any mail as a customer. And also as a, as a reseller, I have made it that I should be able to receive her. You can see, 
I have received three emails. So just like I said, I have the email. So I'm trying to open it now. You can see, you can see the, this is the email that uh, uh, is gotten, okay, by the uh, the reseller, by the reseller of the detail of the client or the customer that applied. You can see the plan that I selected all of those in the email now as a customer too of course i just made this so that i can uh see everything in a single place as the client also would have received this email uh look at it there congratulations we are delighted you have successfully applied for your 24 7 radio service through us please take note take note that no product has been activated to this point what are the next steps we are currently checking your application and will be provisioning you with our trial plan. Of course, because I selected a prior plan, if it is that I selected um, any of those other plans, it would have given information to. So you can see the email delivers very powerfully and um, telling the customer what to do. Now, uh, because I've made the order, now you can see the order that I made to, uh, I receive a mail concerning the order. Of course, it's free. So these are these processes. The first one, don't forget, is for uh, the uh, the reseller. This one reseller will receive in his or her mail. The other uh, emails, the other two emails are the one that um, uh, what what we call it. Um, the customer will be receiving. So that is just it. So now that has not ended the matter. You know the. The, the client or the customer just applied. The reseller has not really done anything. But the information that the reseller received here, this information, is what you will now use to uh, create accounts for your reseller. For example, let me let me open the reseller uh, Sonic panel. Um, radio, radio.digibo.net of course you know this address to you 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 log into your reseller account so i want to try and log into to the seller account now so this is the um the reseller package uh of course this is not to be talking about what to do for configuring this we only want to create uh, a customer account so i can just click create a new radio uh, of course, um, I give the the customer account name. Let's say I want to give it a demo radio too. Of course, you know the customer already sent the information. So you see, the account name is demo radio. So that is the reason why I'm using demo radio. Okay. So I call I, I call it demo radio. Then the password. Of course, let me use password at one. All right. Then the email of the reseller of course is there everything is there the reseller has sent every i mean the customer have sent everything so i put the reseller i mean the customer email there additional zion at yahoo.com now the reason why we are making all of this is some of us we are having pr problem of delivery of email from your sonic panel so um whether you have challenge or not this method that we are showing you in this video uh, is very good for you if you can follow it so of course you select the plan uh, for now i have set up let's assume that this is my trial plan anyway so you, i think you understand all of this so i don't need to go into details of this so i click create oh username already exists yeah oh so uh okay for the sake of this video let me just put radio one let me put radio one here so let me call it um, let me create a demo radio one demo radio one then uh, i change the password again password I, I i really want to make it friendly for the sake of this video so that is reason for this additional zion at yahoo.com okay so i click create now this should work now Though, the reason why I use demo radio one is because I have demo radio uh, on my as my clients for this demo. So the account has been created. So now the next thing you will do 
according to the uh, procedure I put here. Now we have done. We have the customer have, uh, have visited the page. Customer have made choice and, and has been redirected to application page. After filling the application, the customer is redirected to payment page. Don't forget, the email is received by the customer and also by the reseller uh, admin of the account for the application. I've shown you all of those. The reseller then proceed to create account of the customer in Digibo Sony panel. That is where we are, and I've already created the account now. So the seller sends the radio panel detail to the customer. So uh, for this now, uh, I will copy your. I copy this. I will go to um, the browser. Then I paste the, this link. I open the link. Please, this is important for all the resellers. Now, what do I want to do here? I want to send the information of the of the customer radio panel. To the customer so that the customer will receive the e i mean the information in his in his or her email for reference and for assessing the radio panel so uh as i assess here now you can see there are four steps that we that we have created here for you to follow the company name of course don't forget it is um, uh, demo radio according to what the uh, client supplied demo radio Okay, then the email, don't forget it's Adeshola Zion, Adeshola Zion at yahoo.com. Then the contact person, don't forget, all of these have been supplied. Don't forget from, um, from the customer uh, information that was filled by the customer. So I click next, I go to the next page. Of course, it loads to the next page. <sighs> then we we'll go to uh, Digi, Digi, Digibro panel account. That's the second stage. Now you can see this one is marked, showing that you have filled it. Now, uh, by default, the, the all customers will be able to assess uh, the account by using HTTPS column four slash double for forward slash radio dot digibro dot net okay this is the address that uh, uh by default every customer can use to assess your uh, uh that to assess their account but if you have changed your uh you have, if you have changed the the domain name don't forget in one of the videos we've already explained that that you can change your domain name you can change it here to your own by pointing your domain name to our ip address to our ip address this is our ip address here uh let me show us uh where is the ip address um okay okay yes so this is the ip address by pointing to this ip address you can change the domain name uh, it has not been done yet, but I've already explained explained it in one of the video how you can do that. If you need more explanation about that, you can just create this. Uh, you can just uh, send us a message by creating a ticket for uh, the technical to uh, be able to attend to you. But that is not what we are doing here now. So now this stage now of uh, creating accounts, of course, we we'll supply the panel URL for the client to access your. Um, uh, is our account the username now how do, I, how do i get the username and password now this is very important now let me go to list and edit radio list and edit radio then you can see the account i have created here you can see the account i've created here now if i click it if i click it i can see the information here i can see all the information or better still for me to get full information, I can click login to user. Um, look at it, login to user Sonic panel. So, oh, okay. Let's quickly log in there. Demo radio one. Then password at one. Don't forget, that is what I used to create. Of course, I'll be able to log in now. Every um every reseller can log into their customers panel if there is a need for that of course from the method i've shown you now so this is the 
If I go to manage radio, you can see the information, all the information necessary. I come to account. You can see the the username here. So so that I will not copy wrong thing for the customer. I can just copy it, come to the page here, paste it, or I just type it. Of course, you know, don't forget I use demo radio one. Then password, you know, I use password at one. So I click next. I've already filled this Digibro panel. So the third page is radio information. The radio information. You can see the radio system, radio IP. These are the things that the customer will just need for purpose of keep or for information of what has been done for the customer. So if you come here now, uh, how do I get that? I come back to my radio, manage radio. So you see some of the radio information uh, here, of, of course. And then if I click auto DJ2, I see some of the informations there. So let's quickly fill them up. Now the radio system by default, this is the radio system. Uh, let me come back to manage radio, manage radio. So you can see the radio system. By default, the radio system is shoutcast, shoutcast uh, version 2.6. So I just write it there, shoutcast, shoutcast version 2.6. Don't forget that um, there are um, uh, shortcut version 1, version 2, and the likes, uh, and also ice cast that you can provide for your customer when you are creating account for the customer. So I think you should be able to understand that. Then the radio IP. Now, the radio IP, I showed you that time. Uh, I said that you use the one you have mapped, or you use the one that is um, uh, actually um, uh, in number, numeric. So uh, let me show us the one in numeric. Or the one number you can see it here. You know, I check it from domain SSL, so I can copy it. I can copy this. I can copy this and paste it here. Okay, this is the IP. Then the radio port. This is very important. None of this information you must not misplace them or type them anyhow. So let's check the port again. Let's come to manage radio. Uh, this is the port. This is the radio port. This is the radio port 8016. 8016 is the radio port. So you come, you paste the radio port. Okay. Now, radio stream password. This ones may not be too. Okay. No, radio stream password is very important. You know, it's the same password with um, um, your account you have created. Of course. So we can just put password at one. Then most of the time, this is always admin. This radio admin use username. You can get it here. It's always admin. If I come to Auto DJ, you can see it. Uh, where are you? Okay, okay. I think it's not on this page. Um, okay, radio admin password. You can see. Okay, you can see the radio admin username. Admin. So most of the time, it's admin. So you just know that this one is admin. Admin. Though most of the time, customer don't usually use all of this parameter from here, from here. Uh -huh. But it's good that you help them to understand some of these things. Then this is the password, radio admin password. Just copy it, you paste it, you paste it. Okay. Then thereafter, you click next. I think you can see all of the things we have done. So the last page here, the hosting quota upload limits. Well, it depends on what you, the package you have created, and that is very critical in your package uh, creation. So um, it has to do with that, but you can still get it here. So if I come to Auto DJ, I can see the limit here. Um, is it not here? Okay, I can see some parameters. I can see some parameters, like okay. Huh? Mm. It's not okay if you don't really see it from here. Another way, place where you can get it is uh, just scroll down the customer's account and um, look for uh, account package. Look for account package. You can see it's already here. Listeners limits. You see it there. So I can just copy listeners limits 100. Listeners limits. That's uh, okay. The first one is um, hosting limit. That is the space that you are giving to your customer. 
so which is 1000 megabytes so i just copy this now i just copy this and i paste it here okay i paste it then listeners limit is 100 don't forget 100 then the, the this one bit rate limits you also see it there the bit rate is 128 kbps and all of this you uh, you've already understood so that's why i'm going to into details of all of this all right so then the auto dj of course if you have given auto dj permission look at this one now auto dj allow auto dj creation yes so i just put yes here okay then lastly the bandwidth limit is also there so you can just copy the bandwidth limit which is 1000 md 1000 md so i copy i paste okay so then i submit don't forget i've gone through four stages customer information and all of those so now it's saying demo radio information sent successfully so with this your customer would have received you know the information of the radio panel now this information can be used by the customer to log in into his panel to log into the panel so because i've already logged in here so let me quickly close this let me log out this page so let me go to my email i should have received something i should have received something if i have not received them we we'll wait to see it um, uh, in my account so let me go to my inbox now oh i'm still waiting for it oh you can see it has entered your radio panel account for sac event so you can see i click it so you can see the information now this is the one that uh, your customer would have received by just supplying all of those information you can see so let's quickly go through it hello demo radio thank you for your order your radio hosting account has been set up and this email contains all the information you need in order to begin using your account so you can see the login so if i click this now uh if i click this now it will direct me to the page and of course um every other information i mean i can now use this username and password to log in and all the all other information that my customer needs are there so with this now we have been able to uh, go through all of the steps for you to uh, use your reseller website effectively so that your customer can get um, um, information of the sites or of the of the purchases or of the applications or what have you and at the same time uh, getting the, the details to log in into their uh, uh, radio panel so uh, if you have any other further question you can uh, uh, raise a support ticket and of course we are always there to assist you uh, in any area that is not clear and of course to make your business run effectively so see you in the next video thank you very much